Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to understand the concept of electron transport chain, which is one of the crucial processes in cellular respiration, and this takes place in mitochondria. And this is the final stage where most of the ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell, is produced. This electron transport chain is also known as the oxidative phosphorylation because it involves the oxidation of the electron carriers, particularly NADH and FADH2, and also the phosphorylation of the ADP molecule for the production of ATPs. Now we will see that how the electrons are extracted from these high energy molecules and carried forward into the electron transport chain subsequently for the production of ATP molecules. If you look onto the electron transport chain, you will see that there are a total of five complexes involved. And these complexes are embedded in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. Now, what are the names of these five complexes? The complex number one, which is called the NADH dehydrogenase. Complex number two, called the succinate dehydrogenase. Complex number three, called the cytochrome B. Complex four, called the cytochrome A. And complex five is the enzyme ATP synthase. So complex one, two, three, four, and five. And in between these complexes, there are two shuttle molecules, coenzyme Q, which is also the UBQ known, and the cytochrome C. And why are these present? These are present for carrying the electrons from one complex to the another. So basically, they are acting like a shuttle service, uh, taking up the electrons from the complex and delivering it to the next one. So how exactly is this thing taking place? Let's see. So if you look onto the complex number one, NADH dehydrogenase, what is this complex doing? So this is extracting the electrons from the molecule, high energy molecule NADH. So electrons are extracted from this and it is oxidized into NAD positive. Also, on the other hand, the complex number two is extracting the electrons from the high energy molecule FADH2 and, ox and this molecule is oxidized into FAD. So now the electrons from the NADH have been extracted by complex one and the FADH2 have been extracted by the complex number two. Now, from where these NADH and FADH2 are coming, so this is coming from glycolysis and Krebs cycle. And this FADH2 is produced in the Krebs cycle. You all know that. Now, the electrons from the complex number one and two, which have been extracted from these high energy molecules, are not able to transfer uh, directly from uh, the one and two complex to the three. There needs to be something present in between, which is taking, which is carrying out this task. And that is being done by coenzyme Q. So what is this doing? This molecule is taking up the electron from the complex number one and two, and delivering it to the complex number three. So all the electrons extracted have now been delivered from complex number one to three and two to three. So now this complex number three, which is the cytochrome B has the electrons. Now, one important thing to note here is that while this extraction process is taking place and this transportation of the electrons is happening, there is the movement of protons from the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space. So you see the protons are uh, getting transferred from the matrix into the intermembrane space. And this is being done by the energy carried by the electrons. So now when the electrons have reached the complex number three, which is the cytochrome B, uh, these electrons have to be passed on to the next complex, and that is the cyto uh, sorry the complex number four, which is cytochrome A. Again, as these complexes are immobile, there needs to be a shuttle present in between, which is able to carry out this transfer from the complex number three to the complex number four, and this is being done by a molecule called cytochrome C. So what is this doing? It is taking up the electrons from the complex number three and delivering it to the complex number four. Now what happens? So now this uh, on this stage also, there is movement of the protons from the uh, mitochondrial matrix into the uh, intermembrane space. And the same process is happening at the uh, complex number three as well, but it is not happening at the complex number two, and that is because of the absence of any uh, channel between that. So 
So now after all the transport of the electrons, the electrons have now uh, accumulated in the complex number four. Now these electrons have to go somewhere, right? So where are these electrons going? So these electrons are being accepted by the oxygen molecules and subsequently water is being produced. So these electrons are accepted by the oxygen molecule and water is being produced. Okay, so this was the story about the electrons, but what about the protons that are being transported from the matrix into the intermembrane space? Due to this uh, uh, movement of the protons, there is an increased concentration of the hydrogen ions or the protons into the intermembrane space. And this is leading to uh, a shift in the homeostasis or you can say the equilibrium. So there needs to be an equal concentration of hydrogen ions on both the sides of the membrane. But now this uh, homeostasis has been disrupted due to the increased movement of the protons into the intermembrane space. Now, due to this, uh, there is a change in the equilibrium. And to balance this out, these protons have to find a way to get back into the mitochondrial matrix to again attain the equilibrium. And how is this happening? This is happening via a channel present between the complex number five, the enzyme called the ATP synthase. Now these protons, they start to move through the ATP synthase. And when this moves, uh, the uh, one of the components of this ATP synthase, it starts to rotate. And due to that rotation, some current is generated and that current is being utilized for the association of ADP molecules with the free phosphate molecules that is an organic phosphate present freely in the mitochondrial matrix and that current is utilized for combining these two together for the production of ATP molecules and this whole process um, is known as the chemiosmosis. So you uh, saw that the end at the end of this uh, electron transport chain, a lot of ATP molecules have been produced. And this is the energy currency of the cell, which is being utilized by the cells for energy purposes.